Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome back to another Smite commentary. And I know what you might be thinking, again a fab new gameplay. Well, he is the latest god, so I did want to get this video out as well. Uh, I feel like this one was a pretty fun one. Um, there's also an enemy Fafnir, which is always interesting. So we'll have to try to out Fafnir, the Fafnir and we should be fine. So, uh, something else I wanted to talk about a bit. Um, they released the patch notes for the next update, which will be up next Tuesday. And I'm really stoked for it. It's a very big patch and there's an awful lot to it. Um, there are a bunch of great skins. Actually, a lobster Capri. I'm really uh, stoked for that one. That's <laughs> that one looks so great. I'm really, really going to get that one. It's just an amazing skin. Anyway. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, a bit about the relics and some god changes. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the new god, but there will also be a new god. I already forgot his name, uh, but that's all fine. I will start off with the relics, because there are a couple of relics being added to relics. And a lot of changes to relics in existence. Don't worry guys, no change to purification. Some might uh, want to see the cooldown reduced, but they're not going to do anything like that. Um, so, there's a new relic called Thorns, um, if you know Shield of the Underworld, it's basically Shield of the Underworld, it will reflect 40% of all damage you take, um, but uh, you will not have that healing reduction anymore, there was a healing reduction on Shield of the Underworld, um, there won't be, so Lifesteal still works, but it's still pretty good against burst ultimates when you're very tanky, because the Damage you reflect is before mitigation, before your protections get into work. So if you're very tanky and you take, for instance, a Kokolkan ultimate, you reflect 40% and you maybe take the same damage as the Kokolkan's reflected damage. Anyway, uh, the new another relic that I think is very powerful and definitely very good against uh, certain characters. Um, if you look at it, it's called Phantom. And what it provides is, for 5 seconds, you will have Hastened Fatalis effect, so you will have no uh, penalty when you're using your basic attacks. And you'll also be able to pass through players and player-made objects. So this means that you can activate it whenever you want to get out of Odin Cage, uh, to get out of um, an Emir Walls or a sticky situation where your body blocked. You can just activate it, walk through everyone it's amazing uh, they removed it from an item it was first on an item when you it wasn't an item and the effect was when you uh, were to use your relic then you will have that effect as well but you needed to waste a relic for it as well as have a particular item for it which wasn't the best item so now we will have a, a separate relic for it and it provides hasten and fatalis which is very powerful um, blank, blank is uh, the cooldown on it reduced to uh, well, the out of combat cooldown, so to speak. So first you had to wait five, wait five seconds when out of combat. Uh, that's been reduced to three seconds. So a little bit quicker when you're out of combat to use it, which should help. Also a huge buff to all the healers by a nerf of a relic. They nerfed curse. So, Weakening Curse used to reduce the healing by 65%, they reduced that to 50%. So, 15 additional percentage on healing. And in this patch, there will also be a couple of buffs to actually some healers. So, I'll get back to that in a bit. But it's just very powerful. Uh, Frenzy, probably not an awful lot picked up. But it also provides 20% attack speed now, which is definitely not bad. Uh, Scout, well, it has some changes, a little bit more gold when uh, you get a ward, but other than that, nah, you're still not going to pick it up in any of the games, except for maybe Conquest. I don't know. I don't like it. Sprint, a little bit of a nerf. Um, the, the duration is reduced by 1 second, so it's now 5 seconds. And the cooldown is increased by 10 seconds. It's not the biggest nerf, but it's a little bit to put it in a good position, because having Sprint is just very powerful. Uh, Sunder now applies 30% attack speed reduction as well and uh, you will have an increased uh, protection reduction only 5% increase so it's not the world but the fact that you can reduce someone's attack speed is definitely very powerful 
I use my altar um, in this game to try and deal some damage. I'm very low on mana, and that's something that I don't like as much about um, Fafnir. Fafnir's mana pool is very low in the early game. Uh, probably the best bet to go Breastplate second, but I wanted to try something else this time. Not sure how they missed me, but uh, the Rom had a clear shot to just shoot me once with his ult. And I was stunned because of my ultimate, but okay. I don't mind surviving. I never mind surviving. I'll take it and grant as granted. Okay, so teleport a little bit of a change. Uh, back to the relics. Um, for the, the, the channel time is increased from 3 to 4 seconds, so a bit, little bit longer to kind of kill the ward or just CC someone out of the teleport. Uh, Wrath, well... You're not going to use it, but um, it provides more damage to uh, jungle bosses, which is not bad. But, very important, actually you might pick it up now. Um, it stuns now for one second, so the Wrath will stun. Uh, it's secure, it's a lot better, but its cooldown is increased from 60 to 90 seconds. But a, s a second stun in an area around you is pretty good. So you might see those a little bit more often, and when you feel like, what stunned me? Well, it's Wrath, probably, going to be in the next patch. Uh, a couple of new items, uh, one of which actually has a passive effect that when you activate a relic, that relic's duration is increased by... Uh, no, the duration of that relic's effects are increased by 50%, so a uh, sprint will last for, um, well, 2.5 seconds longer in that regard, and uh, on and on, so it could be pretty good. Uh, but it's only when you activate it, so it's not uh, when someone else uses it. So if you have relics that you don't really use as much, or for instance if you have Wrath, I don't... Well, the Wrath stun will be 1.5 seconds probably, so pretty good. Pretty interesting to see if that one will come into play. It's, also, it's quite cheap, it provides a bit the stats of the um, Winged Blade, so it's not a bad item. Also some cooldown reduction on it. Uh, new armor... It's probably not too interesting. It increases your tower's attack speed by 30% and reduces the tower's attack speed by 30% when you're in range. So that's very good for tanks to pick up to kind of deter a lot of the tower or phoenix damage. And make sure that you can hold the phoenix a lot easier because it will attack with 30% increased attack speed. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, some changes to Ensile. Probably an item that you don't really use too often. Um, it's an item that provides magical protection and it wasn't really ever picked up and now it has a changed effect. When you take magical damage, uh, it will unleash a shockwave, something like Mantle of Discord and it will silence for one second. I don't think it's very good because if you get hit by magical uh, ability, it's usually when you're, clo uh, well, when you're uh, far away from someone because all the mages have long range. And a lot of Guardians as well, for instance Fafnir with this one. A uh, little change to Bancroft's Talon. Um, if you m may or may not know, Bancroft's Talon has a passive that depending on how low you are on HP, you'll get power. You'll get 100 power when you have 0 HP. So when you're dead, you'll have 100 additional power. And when you're at 1%, you'll have 99 additional power. They changed that a little bit. The 100 maximum additional power you get is at 25% of your uh, health. So you'll have some use out of it when you're low on HP, instead of, I'm almost dead, um, I just have to back, I can't use it. 25% is decent enough to do something. So it's a pretty good buff in my opinion. Uh, golden Bow's removed. So, this is an interesting one. But Golden Bow got removed, um, they weren't really able to balance it uh, to kind of, um, well, it, especially in Conquest. Every single hunter had to pick it up. It was mandatory, otherwise you will lose lane. It's as simple as that. And I feel like removing it completely is probably not the best bet. They probably should have just changed it before they changed the uh, AoE effect on it. Because it first started off with 25% uh, at Throne Dagger um, rank. Additional damage to minions. And then they buffed it to the minions and then it got a huge clear item. Um, they probably should have just reduced that back to uh, 25, Redu get it to the old state because Mercury is really nerfed by this because it is a good item on Mercury and well it's definitely going to hurt him a lot. But we'll have to see what they do with it. Uh, it will probably get back in some form but I'm not sure how. Uh, they probably, like I said, probably should have just changed it back to the old ways. Let's see, can I cut off this Xanathos? 
Oh, my ultimate takes so long. <laughs> Probably should have casted it already. Uh, but I can definitely dive. I have a good amount of physical protection. Ooh, I actually hit that boy. Oh, he's, he is so dead. He got hit by my three as well as my one. That's a lot of bleed damage. That's something I like a lot about uh, Fafnir. That's also something I'll get to the, uh, in a bit. Uh, Fafnir is getting buffed as well, so that's pretty good. His damage is getting increased. So that will be a lot of fun. He will be very powerful. Uh, but I feel like he needs it because uh, the only thing he has is his uh, power. And if he doesn't get rolling, he doesn't really provide anything. Okay. Uh, changes to Heartseeker, not really interesting. Rune Forge, also not really interesting. Uh, Spectral Armor, new uh, effect, because that that effect that walking through walls, etc., is now on uh, Relic. Uh, let's see. Actually, when you activate a Relic, your cooldowns are reduced by 3 seconds, so it's something like the effect of the old uh, Purification Beats, where you, if you used it, would have your cooldown reduced by 3 seconds. So that's now on an item. Could be useful, not too sure. Okay, um, God changes. This is the interesting parts I wanted to talk about. Um, well, a little change. Um, Honey on AMC will be a little bit stronger in damage in the earlier the ranks. Not really too interesting. They actually changed Anubis. So Mama Fi's uh, cooldown is reduced by two seconds at all ranks, which is pretty good. Um, his movement speed is increased by ten, so from three fifty to three sixty. It's not the best, but it will help him. And his death gate radius actually is increased, so that should help. It's a, it's a little bit wider now, I think. So it will be a lot easier to confirm that. And especially when you have, don't have a stun on someone, it might uh, be a lot easier to hit them. But I haven't really played him, so I can't really tell. But uh, should be a pretty good buff for free aim and noobus. Acquiring a little bit nerf on his 3. Uh, the damage is reduced by... Um, 10 at the first rank and at max rank it's 30, so something like that. Uh, they changed her Ragni, her wraps uh, you used to place behind someone or something like that. It's now a projectile so you'll fire it at someone and it will just have the same effect. And uh, if you fire it at someone it will stay at the maximum range like the, the regular web. So and I, I don't really feel like it's the best buff or nerf. Um, kinda easier to confirm sometimes but uh, if something is in between then it will get hit so that's a bit unfortunate you can't really place it behind the minion lines anymore you'll get uh, it will be stopped by the first hit okay this is an interesting one uh, passive change for Aphrodite so I really like I told you in an other video where I played Aphrodite I feel like she needed something and the fact that weakening curse is n is nerfed will help her out a lot um, ooh, I might be able to save the raw actually it looks like I can nice <laughs> sweet Okay, so Aphrodite also gets a passive change. Her uh, mana regen to a teammate that's linked to you is chain is um, well on her kiss now. So that passive is still there, but she gets an additional passive. She'll get protections for every friendly or uh, enemy target nearby. So when you're linked to someone, you already get four protections, uh, four protections on both sides. Let's see, can we get the ten thousand? Looks like a nice ultimate by the Scotty. Well played. I noticed he went for the Scotty, even though the Scotty was full health. So wasn't able to shut her down. Was able to assist her. Nice. Okay. Um, so four protections for every god nearby. Friendly or enemy. Which is very good. Because that means that there's just an awful lot of, uh, well, damage going on. Let's see. Can we get the Janus? He is sticking around. If I hit my th three, I can hit my one. That's a lot of damage. Buffing myself. And as you can see, insane amount of damage. I love it. I just love it. Okay, so the protections four per stack, a uh, four per god nearby as Aphrodite with a new passive. So that's up to uh, well, up to nine times because there are nine gods in the game. So she can up get up to. Uh, can I do math today? Um, Thirty-six protections, which is very good. Thirty-six protections, nothing to do for nothing you have to do for it. Uh, definitely very powerful. Ooh, Thanthos, that's a lot of healing. Wow, nice. He will probably survive. Um, <laughs> that bounce, <laughs> that ice really screwed him over. Buffing the Scotty, I'll just head back. I can't really help him with anything else. Okay, Shanga also got a buff. She got uh, increased scaling on her healing. So it's from 30% scaling to 40%, which should help getting more healing online for the, for the Shanga. 
Uh, Fafnir is getting his uh, one stun um, increased. So it is. it was one second, it's now 1.5 seconds. So his one will stun 1.5 seconds. And it is in, I think, in his regular form as well as in his ult. So that's very good. That's like an additional second in total CC time if you're able to combine it with your ultimate. Also, um, when you hit someone with your 3 or your 1 while in dragon form, it will immediately deal damage, and over a course of 3 seconds will deal another double tick damage. So the damage is the same, but you'll uh, notice when you hit someone. Because if now you hit someone in your ultimate, um, you don't really see that it confirmed. You'll have to wait 1 second to see the damage numbers pop up. Or if you CC them, I don't know. Um, also, let's see, they, they increase the damage on his Dragon Breath by 10 per rank, so that's pretty good. Uh, at rank 1, it's actually a double, uh, double his basic attack damage in his Dragon form, so that's very good. Okay, Guan Yu, this, this is an interesting one. Uh, this is very, very, uh, well, they, they make it seem like it's a nerf, but it's actually a buff in my opinion. Um, they changed the stack system, his passive, so... He had uh, 20 stacks and at any um, point of his stacks he will have increased healing depending on the amount of stacks he has. Uh, now you have 30 stacks and you'll only get an effect when it's maxed out. But you can get effect on every single of your abilities. So what this means is that you'll have the double healing on your conviction when it's only maxed out. So no in-betweens anymore. If your uh, passive is maxed out you'll be able to... Uh, well get the double healing so a little bit less double healing so in that regard it's a nerf uh, because you can't stack it up as much uh, let's see can we do something actually my abilities are almost up that's a lot of damage hitting my one hitting my three is probably going oh nice sanctuary actually buffing the scotty and she wrecks them Damn, okay, uh, let's quickly continue because it looks like this game is over. Buffing my entire tier and as you can see, insane amount of damage. Uh, my ultimate is down, but as you can see, the Janus got immediately erased. Again, buffing the Scotty. Buffing the Scotty is probably the best bet because she has an insane amount of attack speed. Well, she gets more out of the attack speed than anything else. So we were able to pick up the victory. I still wanted to kind of continue with the buffs. Um, so this was a pretty good game in my opinion. I like my build, to be honest, but I think I'll switch up the breastplate and the uh, Jade's helmet next time. Okay, so the passive effect of Guan Yu, the new passive, um, like I said, just doubles the healing like it was. It will also double the slow on your 2, so it's from 30 to 60% when you're boosted with your passive. Uh, Towel Assault will have increased protection steal. 50% 50, 50 additional protection steal, so that's very, very powerful. Um, and the slow on his ultimate is doubled, so you had 20% slow on his ultimate, it's now 40%. And the stun duration is increased from 1 to 2 seconds. So you can do a lot with this passive, but you need to have 30 stacks to apply, and every single ability can have an additional effect. So you really need to make sure that you use it on the proper uh, ability at the proper moment, but I feel like this is actually a very powerful buff because you can have insane amount of additional effects on your th other three abilities. So not only your healer anymore. Um, so uh, Hell has a change as well. Um, the the she has a meter where she has increased healing or power, and to fully charge it, it's now reduced from five to three seconds. The slow on her two is increased from. 10 to 30 percent to 20 to maximum of 40 percent so 10 percent increase on, on each rank which is very good and her healing scaling is increased by 10 percent so f from 30 to 40 percent as well as the movement speed you get from the heal from hell is now 25 percent at all ranks instead of 15 percent to a maximum of 25 percent so that should help her out in the early game a lot uh, they changed Najah's passive a bit um, I don't really like this much. Uh, the progression on it is the same, so basic attacks and crits will provide the same amount of stacks. You will lose stacks, all your stacks, when you're uh, out of combat for 5 seconds, so that will be 11 seconds from stopping to hit anything. Um, but if you have the stacks, of course, you can uh, heal with your 2 just activated, you can still heal, but you won't lose the stacks. You'll and um, the amount of stacks you have will give you increased crit chance. So 0.5% crit chance per stack. 
up to a maximum of uh, 20 stacks. 10% additional crit chance passively, which is not bad. Odin, okay. I don't know why, but they buffed Odin. Uh, maybe because they also got put in the relic that he, people can activate to get out of his ring. But um, his passive he had was power on kills in his side his ring. He still has that. That's now just moved to his ring ability. Uh, so no change there. But he has an additional passive, so to speak. Every time a god dies anywhere, he gets increased power and movement speed. And this can stack up to five times. That is insane. So any god, so team or enemy, if they die, you will get 10% additional movement speed and 10% additional power for 10 seconds. So if you have a team fight where a teammate dies, an enemy dies, a teammate dies, an enemy dies, you will have 40% additional movement speed and power for 10 seconds. Up to a maximum of 50% and 50% power because it stacks five times. But that is nuts. That is so much power. You know how much... Bird Bomb can hurt. Imagine it with 50% additional power and he can just run away after it with 50% additional movement speed. Like, what? This is insane. I know he is not going to be fun at this point. Um, I know that he had... Uh, I, I feel like he was pretty good. With the Relic he probably will be in a worse spot because they can get out of his ultimate. But the fact that you can... If you have additional bonus power from a kill anywhere on your team or your opponents with a bird bomb bird bomb was a lot of burst already it's an insane one uh raijin his magical protection scaling uh is removed so he'll have just a flat 30 magical protections um yeah instead of additional protections like for instance on quay uh, they nerfed the rat a bit again, uh, 10 on his acorn blast, so that will 30, if you hit all three acorns uh, with the stun, you will have 10, uh, well 30%, 30 power less, so 30 damage less, to be honest, uh, and his HP per level is a little bit decreased, it's not a lot, not really too much to be concerned about. They buffed Sylvanas a little bit, his, um, his sprout, so his one, you will throw at the ground, and it would sprout in 12 seconds and it would provide mp5 it now sprouts very quickly it's now sprouts in five seconds so that's a lot better and the mp5 you get is now the same at every rank so it used to be six mp5 at rank one to 20 at max rank it's now 20 at all ranks so that's four mana per second at level one if you got that ability first so that's very powerful I like the change. And one of the most important changes, the one that didn't have a passive now gets a passive. Vulcan, uh, he had a passive where if he hit an ability, he had a couple of seconds to hit a basic to slow someone for 10%. Which was bad. It was not useful in any way. Um, now he ha actually has a very good passive. Uh, whenever Vulcan hits an ability, any ability, his turret included, he will get a buff for 5 seconds. There's no cooldown on it. So, this will mean that he will have the buff almost indefinitely. Uh, because as long as he attacks something, a god... Well, that's, it's actually when you hit an enemy god. So it's not minions, so that's great. Uh, but if you hit an enemy god, you'll get a buff. 15 MP5 and 15% movement speed for 5 seconds. So that's very good. That will help him not only uh, keep his mana up with the free, 3 mana every second... It also provides the movement speed, which allows him to either engage or disengage quicker. And it can be refreshed very easily. You can place the turret when you're running away and will, if it gets a shot off on a guard, you will be faster. As well as when you use a meatball, you will be faster if you hit it. And you're one, your ultimate. It's just, I like it a lot because I felt like Vulcan's passive was just, it was not, it was no passive. Okay. So I talked about what I wanted to talk about. There's also a new god. I don't really, I'm not really going to discuss him here because I feel like um, if you can't really see his abilities, I, I don't really get a good feel for him. Uh, so we'll have to see. What of Earth? His kit is pretty strong, but we'll have to see about that. Um, so a little bit of recap on the game, actually. <laughs> um, 3 0 and 20, a very good score. Buffed the Scotty a lot, helped out a lot. As you can see, the Scotty is 12 and 1. That last push was insane. I buffed f the four of us while we were engaging. The Janus got erased in 
0.1 second in my opinion and after that it was all fun and games. I went for a lot of cooldown reduction um, because I was ahead, I was 2 and 0 I think, I went for the mental of discord because it's a bit more expensive but it does provide me magical as well as physical protection and cooldown reduction and most importantly at that moment was the magical protection and the cooldown reduction and after that gem, you know how much I like gem. It procs on his two, so if I buff someone, they will have a slow. It's it's mental. It's it's. I love it. I I just love it so much. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a little bit different than the other times. I wanted to talk a bit about the patch. I'm really stoked for this one because there's a lot of buffs to the healers, and I felt like the healers were just in a bad spot, and I just like that a lot. And a couple of passive got reworked, which is also great. A couple of new items, a couple of item changes, new god, beautiful skins. I am really looking forward to it. Anyway, I'm rambling on again. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.